Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 8 a.m. Plus, as creative director at La Palm Magazine, Derek Warburton hangs out with celebrities like Carmen Electra, but he's been honored for his charity work on Skid Row. He's going to join us to talk about it next. Thanks, Craig. Well, Los Angeles County is dealing with a homeless crisis. An estimated 47,000 people are living on the streets right now. And there are plenty of people, though, trying to help. That's right. Derek Warburton is the co-founder and creative director of La Palm Magazine. And the city of Los Angeles honored him for his charity work in the city and across the country. And Derek is here with us this morning. We want to welcome you on this Easter Sunday. Yes. Thank you. Good thank morning. you. You know what? First of all, I want to thank you so much for having me today. Mm -hmm because number one it's Easter so it's the perfect day to talk about this mm -hmm. and it's such a blessing to be able to come and talk about my work mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and so thank you what inspired you actually to get into the charity work well I was a homeless kid mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have water electricity um, I dug our sewer you know and so when you grow up like that and then you build your career and I mean I live the most blessed life now <laughs> but <laughs> But I wanted to always give back. There it's so important. Oh, right. Right. oh God. You? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing my team that sent all those photos. <laughs> uh, no, you know, it's like when you grow up in a situation like that and then the life I get to live, you know, it's mm -hmm. like I'm on red carpets, I travel the world and I get treated a certain way and it's so nice, but I'll never forget what it was really like. And you know, you mm -hmm. can't forget your past. And right. so I wanted to do something for other people's futures as well as mine. So that's mm -hmm. how this came about. Yeah, of course. Yes. And so tell us about your work with the Bottomless Closet charity, Derek. So that's based in New York. And when I lived in New York, you know, homelessness is such a major problem. But the difference between living here and living in New York mm -hmm. is that in New York, you're on the street. You know, if you need to get town town in 20 minutes, you're not taking a car, you're hopping on the subway. Mm -hmm. And the homeless situation is everywhere. So it's so much more community driven there. You know, mm -hmm. here, which I was telling you, um, you know, right. on the break, you know, we live behind gates, we live behind security, including me, but I wanted to do something that really brought the community together. Mm -hmm. So the, the work in New York, I did for years. I've helped over a thousand women get close to go back to work. You know, we did a lot of, um, we helped a lot of women get closed because you know part of that is like going to job interviews and really rebuilding your lives which is why I'm doing Union Rescue Mission in LA because I wanted to work with an organization that doesn't just feed the homeless mm -hmm. because we need to solve their issues. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to help them get back on their feet. And that's, there's a big difference there. You know, so many people talk about feeding the homeless and that is very important. Mm -hmm. We need everyone fed. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if we don't help rehabilitate, mm -hmm. exactly. create programs, dress them, get them ready to go to job interviews, g get them driver's licenses, mm -hmm. because if you don't have a driver's license, it's more difficult to get a job. Yeah. Exactly. And so all these little things that we all take for granted mm -hmm. really need to be helped. And so that's why I got involved with Union Rescue Mission mm -hmm. here in LA. And you'll be there a little later this morning, right? I am, I am. My friends and I are handing out 1,300 Easter presents wow. oh my gosh. To, to everyone at the mission today, kids, adults, everyone. And you know, doing things like that it, it takes a little bit of time. I'm there for a couple hours today. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to go and do that, and it just raises spirits, and including mine. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to pretend that I'm not being selfish in this right? sort of situation. <laughs> it makes you feel better. It makes me feel so good. And I have this philosophy, feel good, look good, do good. I like it. <laughs> you know, like and yeah. because that's, I mean, you know, I'm a stylist and I do all these <laughs> yeah. things. So, so I kind of create that all into my own brand. Mm -hmm. And doing good is so desperately needed we have become here in la the homeless capital of america yeah we got to do something about it and they're downtown i live downtown mm -hmm. i live behind security but then i go for a walk and in five minutes i'm right there road, what does yeah. that say yeah. mm -hmm. you know it's close Okay. It's very close. And Derek, tell us about the event you organized for next Sunday. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So we're having an artist brunch, and I used to do them in New York, too. You know, here in L.A., like I said, you know, we're always in our car. We're separated. I wanted to create something that was very community-driven for artists. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. So many of my friends are. So next Sunday at Obika mm -hmm. in, um, on Sunset Plaza, mm -hmm. we're having a brunch from 12 to 2.30. And... $55 all inclusive, not liquor, <laughs> but $25 from the brunch goes directly back to the mission that day. Wow. Right nice. from the restaurant. Yeah. So nice. very simple. You come and we're all sitting family style mm -hmm. and we're going to just share. 
as a community. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some success stories come. Um, the publicist from the mission is actually coming to speak. She lived at the mission. Oh, wow. She met her husband at the mission. And now they both have successful lives. They have two more children. And I want to sell stories of hope. Mm -hmm. Because hope is how we move forward, mm -hmm. not fear not disgrace you know not and not feeling bad mm -hmm. so i wanted to do something that was really positive that would just s send the message out that we can do little tiny things we all go to brunch on sunday this is la honey <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean come on and i was like god what a simple way mm -hmm. to do good yes, right exactly Thank awesome. you so much. No, thank yeah. you. When you go thank to that you. brunch, you got to look good, feel good, and do and good. And you're going to do good. <laughs> just just being it. there, you're doing good. We love it. We thank love it. Thank you. And to find out more about next week's charity brunch, just go to our website, kkl9.com, and click Scene on TV. Thanks, Thanks so much. Derek. Oh, no, thank you. And still to come.